Hi everyone, welcome to Janice Talk. I'm Janice. Our topic today is about Korea, about future, using myself as an example. Let's start with an image. This is an image I downloaded from the KPMG official website. I was attracted by it as soon as I saw it. There is no word on the image. It inspires me a lot. Two words just came to my mind, adventure and challenge. In the picture, a man is suffering. He seems to be not afraid of the potential danger and really enjoys the experience. As we know, suffering is a challenging sport, which needs enough courage and requires some skills. It reminds me of our life. Considering suffering as a challenging task, everyone can be a sufferer. The first thing before we start taking this task is that we should be enough brave and confident. And then we should ask ourselves whether we have already had sufficient knowledge. If not, what should we do to achieve? In a word, only people dare to take challenges and command relative expertise can they enjoy the success in the final. This is similar to my ideal self in the future career, not only having abundant professional knowledge, but also being confident to whatever tasks I meet. For my future career, I have two specific directions. One is focusing on financing and investment to be a financial analyst. The other one is concentrating on auditing and risk stimulation to be an auditor. Both of them are relatively difficult and challenging to develop well due to the high academic requirement and the need of superior judgment. In order to evaluate whether I stood to my goals, I completed several self-awareness tours. I chose two of them to share. According to my MBTL profile, my personal code is ISTG, strong-willed and dutiful, responsible, calm and uh, practical and planning detailedly are my strengths. And the result of employability questionnaire shows that I scored high in occupational, rhetorical, and ethical culture and social literacy. To sum up, they both proved that I have already equipped the basic characteristics needed for my ideal jobs, responsible, organized, and considerate. However, several drawbacks they indicated are more important for me to pay attention to. I concluded them in two, three aspects. The most important one is about the expertise. As I major in business administration, my study in accounting and financing is just a basic level. Secondly, I may focus too much on the existing facts and the theories so that I may lack creativity and look stubborn. Thirdly, our though introverted personality tends to be more cautious and careful than extrovert. People with it may be poor in interpersonal communication and are usually unwilling to touch new things. The change of these drawbacks is a challenging task for me as I adapt to them for nearly 20 years. Uh, so in order to be a good surfer in my ideal work, I still have a lot to go. Actually, it is not the first time for me to take self-awareness test. I have already made a SWOT analyze and taken the MBTI survey when I just entered the university. So some actions I have already taken to cope with my shortages. As I know that I lack the deep professional study in accounting and financing, I tried to use space time to learn ACC and pass the eight examinations now. Though so it's a bit difficult, I will never give up. I, and I also started something about computers and data analysis, including Python and Eviews. On top of that, in order to gain practice experience, I applied to be intern during the vacation in stock exchange, local bank, and the real estate company, which gave me the opportunity to apply the knowledge into the real life and directed my future career goal. Overall, for my career goals, I still need to do much, but I believe myself that I can be a good server in the end. That's all about my presentation. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.